What up, YouTube? Big Lou, Big Louie's Coach Review back again with another review, and today we're here to do a little review on the Dragon Mod. That's right. This is a mod straight out of Canada. All right. Now, Canada has been releasing Mechanical Tube mods over the past couple of years, but you know they've really been pushing the envelope and doing new and interesting things. And this is one of those Mechanical Tube mods that falls within the realm of interesting as well as functional. Okay. Sometimes you have products that are interesting. They do something different, but still needs a little help on certain areas of the mod. This mod needs no help. Okay. I'm so excited about this mechanical two mod. I'm actually going to go get it heat treated by Killer Cloud Customs over in uh, Connecticut. So I'm going to have him heat treat this uh, mechanical tube mod for me. But for now, for what I got, this is a 28 millimeter wide mechanical tube mod. The thickness of the tube is 4.5 millimeters thick. That shit is thick, which makes this shit heavy as fuck. But I like heavy as fuck devices, okay? I, especially tube mods. I don't like holding a tube mod that's super lightweight and super thin, you know, because when they're lightweight, I feel like they're easily breakable. You know, that's just my mentality. That's just how I think, you know. With this fucker, I've dropped it a couple times. And happy to say, nothing's really happened to it at all. And when you shine it up, it shines up like a mirror. Right now, it kind of looks shiny in the lighting in here, but it's not. Right now, it's a little dull because I've been using it for five days straight. And my sweat from my hands is doing a natural patina process on it. So... I'm going to shine it up in the course of this video so you are going to see it shined up and how fast it takes to shine it up. It's a very smooth surface. And what I like about it is it's hard to see, but they have a little concave design to it. Here, it's 28 millimeter. From this point, it makes a little slight concaveness right here. It's kind of like, you know, an, a slight half oval shape. So it's it's a little concave. So picture a skateboard, how a picture uh, how a skateboard is concave, kind of like that, you know? So it's like that, but it's like a half a millimeter, not even maybe like a quarter of a millimeter concaveness. So it it goes from 28 to like 27 and 3 quarters to 28 in the center because it goes up to a point right here and then it goes concave again going up to the top and then at this spot right here which is the same width from here which is 28 millimeter so we have 28 millimeter here 27 and three quarters here 28 millimeters in the point in the center 27 and three quarters on towards the end and then 28 again so it's got this nice shape to it that when you hold it it's so minute the concaveness but you could feel it and you could notice it. And it was done so nicely, I have to say. And the other nice factor about this thing is safety. They took all the safety precautions that they needed to do. They put a good amount of venting up top at the 510 hybrid connection. And it also vents around the switch on the bottom of the button. Okay, the button is laser etched. And the other nice thing about this company is no matter which metal you decide to pick up, whether it's the 145 Tellurium Copper or the 464 Naval Brass or the 304 Stainless Steel, they all come with a solid 145 Tellurium Copper button. The brass in this model is gorgeous. The Stainless Steel is actually pretty dope as well. So if you manage to find a Stainless Steel, a Brass or a copper, it's definitely worth picking up this mod and having it in your arsenal, okay? It's a great competition mod as well as an everyday user. So I really don't have any complaints about it. It works, it does what it's supposed to do. I put sick fucking builds on here that I wouldn't normally put on most mods. Like lately I've been doing parallel 22 gauge stainless steel wrapped seven times dual coil. I have to do it seven times because it's 22 gauge stainless steel. It's super fucking low. So when I do that, I get an insane fucking cloudage from it and I get an insane hot vape and this fucking thing ramps it up. So it does a good job in conductivity. This thing really has no voltage drop to it, which makes it a great mechanical tube mod. But aside from how conductive it is, it is safe and I feel confident using it. And the ease of use in using this device is just unbelievable. It's just so fucking easy to use this device, you know? Now, obviously, for the people out there that don't know how to do coil builds or use RDAs or anything like that, then this is probably not for you, okay? For the people who do like dripping and using RDAs, I mean, this thing does work really well. It vapes really well. 
Currently, I don't even have a very low build on here, and it vapes like crazy. This is a 0.25 ohm that I have in it right now. And it chucks at 0.25. It's kicking ass at 0.25, okay? And what I love about it is the thickness of it. It is 4.5 millimeters thick. That's a thick-ass tube mod. That's a super thick mod. And it looks good with a lot of RDAs. I mean, honestly, it does. I've been using my Leo Lee uh, Carbonite RDA, which this comes in, I believe, at 26 millimeters. But it does manage to fit on here. Although the 510 uh, hybrid top cap is 25 millimeters uh, and the mod itself is 28, there is a little give there because the outer mod itself is 28. So I could fit the Carbonite RDA on there. But the Goon 528 Custom Version 1 Goon fits perfect on it, works really well with it, super conductive. I mean, I have no problems or complaints about this mod. I mean, check out the fucking Goon. It's just funny how well it conducts. You know what I mean? And I come across a lot of hard-hitting mods. It's not like I had one hard-hitting mod and every mod sucked out there. There's a lot of cool different mods out there. This has a really nice etching of a dragon face on it. It has a dragon with a, a row of flames around it. Kind of reminds me of the Spitfire wheels for skateboarders. You know the Spitfire wheels? If you know what I'm talking about, the logo kind of reminds me of that with the flames going around a dragon head. But in Spitfire, they didn't have a dragon head. But this one, they do. Uh, the laser etching is really nice. And servicing this thing is, is just easy as fucking pie. I mean, easy as fucking pie. You know, you take your 510 hybrid connection off the top, right? Take your battery out, right? Then the button works on this. It has like almost like a, a cog or a gear on the inside. It looks like like a cutout. It has like a, uh, what is it? A six-pointed cutout, basically. So all you do is you push your button in all the way and give it a quarter turn. Once you give it a quarter turn, your button pops out. There's a little star shape on here, three-pointed star on here, that has a progressive two-stage um, male piece on here, which I'll show you in the up close and everything. But when you look down into the tube, you have that gear, that cutout right there, okay? That cutout, some of them go, and, and all of them go actually all the way through. It's fully cut through, okay? But the diameters of three of those cutouts are different. Okay, the width and diameter. So this thing will fit in all of them, but it will stop in three of those cutouts because of the diameter closes in, which holds this button in place. And then it's just two magnets, two rare earth magnets. So let's dive up close. Let's check out the switch because that's mainly what we need to focus on is the switch. And then I'll show you guys the 510 connection with the venting and so forth and so forth. So let's do that now. So the overall height of this mechanical tube mod is 98 millimeters in height. All right. The width is coming in at 28 millimeters in diameter. And the tube thickness the thickness of the copper from the outside of the tube to the inside of the tube measuring is in at 4.5 millimeters in thickness. And the magnets in the rear are basically a 25 or actually, no, I'm sorry, they're 35 pound magnets. So it requires 35 pounds of strength to push the magnets in. It's a very impressive mechanical tube mod. It's all solid copper. It is heavy. Don't get me wrong. This is not a lightweight mod. It's about the width, or it's actually more than a 26650 is in width. Okay. Here's a 26650 battery. It It's wider than a 26650. Okay. Right there. Just It's the button itself is the size of a 26650. All right. You can see right here. 26650 and it's wider than a 26650 now the US dollar conversion for the copper is $208 for the copper 201 for the brass and 186 for stainless steel all right so those are the three metals they made about I believe they made about 450 mods total but for each metal, 
for copper, for brass, and for stainless steel, they made about 150 of each mod. So these are very limited, very limited edition, okay? So if we get a look at our bottom button, this is the graphic on the bottom. You can see there's a dragon with two horns and his mouth open and a circle of flames around him. And it does say nicely around it, Dragon Mod Company, Dragon Mod Company, Dragon Mod Company, right? So this is our copper contact. As you can see, I have number three of batch one. It does say production one, P1. And I have number three. Now they made 155 of these mechanical mods in each style of metal. Uh, copper, brass, and stainless. Now the way this works is if we look at the contact itself, we can see there's a larger part up top and then it drops into a ledge of a smaller part right there. This is designed like this on purpose basically. So this is our tube, okay? We're looking in from the 510 connection. If we flip it, you can see there are three points that are the same. We have one at the north, one at the southeast, and one at the southwest. They're about the same width, okay? And then you have one at northwest and the other one at northeast and the one directly south, which the width of those are a little not as wide, basically. Okay, so they're different. There's six points over here. Three points are wide and the other three are basically narrow. Basically, we want to fit these three points on this contact through the three wider points and then turn it over to the narrower point. You're gonna take your contact and put it through the bottom. Now you can see it right there. It's a little difficult to do this on camera, but you fit your contact through. And once you fit it through, you push the button all the way up and then you gotta turn it to lock it in place into one of the more narrower grooves. As you can see, right now, it's in the more narrower grooves, which it's sitting in there and it's not going anywhere. The magnets create a good amount of resistance and they don't go anywhere. You wanna undo that process, simply push it all the way up and then turn the contact and you'll be able to back it out. So to polish this mod, all we need is a drill with a 510 connection bit that you could pick up at Platinum Vapes Haram and all you got to do is just screw your tube mod in by hand in your drill. You know, start it by hand and then let it go. Not lightning fast or anything like that. I'll just show you how fast it takes for me to clean this fucking thing. It's, it's insane how fast it is. Now, what I use is I use uh, Blue Magic Metal Polish Cream. You get this over in your uh, Auto Zone or whatever. It's like five bucks for that container, but it works like a charm. I impregnate the towel with the blue magic. And I keep changing towel surfaces. Okay. Now this bad boy sparkles beautifully. And you can see the concaveness I was talking about. See how it's 28 millimeter on the top? And on the bottom, and you can see the slight concaveness there. That's what I was talking about, that slight bit of concaveness. I mean, it just shines so nicely. And you can see the shape, you can see the contours. Two center parts where they where it's concave, you can see the shapes. So it looks beautiful. It's, it's actually a nice piece of work. They did a really good job on this mod. I mean, super responsive. I love the weight. I love holding it. It never leaves this hand. It's always lodged right between my index finger and my thumb. You know, it's just incredible. Listen to this. It's just cooks, you know.
What was that, a one second drag? That's insane how much cloud you get for one second. Obviously, like I said, like always, it depends on the build you put in there. I just have a parallel build, folks. That's all I have. And you know what? The drip tip that's on my goon, you know where this drip tip is from? It's from the unholy RDA out of Canada. <laughs> the one with the upside down uh, crucifix on it? Yeah, that's where this drip tip is from. It's from my unholy RDA. So, and I like to take apart my 528 custom goons and put different colors together just to mix and match stuff up. But other than that, you can see I don't have a crazy building here. It's just a parallel 24 gauge stainless steel wire. And it vapes nicely. It's very responsive, you know. I could put this same build on another mod. It may not fire as quick or as responsive on here. I hit that button. It just starts cooking. You know, it's already time for me to juice up. Today I'm vaping on Diggs Elixir Unicorn Cream. Really good e-liquid. Diggs has got really good juice. Really affordable prices. Definitely look them up. D-I-G-Z Elixir. Um, Facebook.com backslash Diggs Elixir Z with a Z, okay? Let me just do a little freeze frame shot for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Facebook.com, Diggs Elixirs. Or face or Instagram, Diggs Elixirs. I say definitely check them out. It's a good ass e-liquid company, affordable prices, good juice, good e-liquids. You know, you're really, really gonna like the juice they have. Just incredible how well it vapes. And the flavor is great. I can't argue it. Their juice is just made for fucking RDAs and mechs. I mean, it's just so responsive. Incredible. So if I were you, I'd be going to shop Innovapes or shop.innovapes.com. I'll put the link in the description down below. If you're interested in picking this up, support my Canadian fam. Dennis Lachance, thank you very much for the opportunity on reviewing this device. Awesome, awesome mechanical tube mod. I love this fucking mod. Great fucking tube mod. Guys, great job. And for the uh, Dragon, I think believe they're called the Dragon Squad. Uh, shout out to the Dragon Squad. Everyone who's rocking the Dragon mod, big shout out to you guys. Uh, you guys really answer a lot of people's questions. Anybody who has had questions on this mechanical tube mod, these guys have always been willing to... Uh, lend a hand and answer questions for people and so forth and so forth. So big shout out to the Dragon Squad. From me to YouTube, peace out, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Laters.